Have you ever wondered what's going on inside your bathtub's waste and overflow assembly? In this episode, we're gonna look inside these two tub drains and I'm gonna show you how to fix them when they're not working. So here are two popular tub drain assemblies. Let's start with this one. This is the kind I have in my house. When we take off this plate with the Phillips screwdriver, we can see what's going on in here. Attached to this little lever is a brass rod. On the end of the rod is a stopper. It closes off this part of the drain, preventing water from getting out of the tub. So I've had this rod come off, and if it does, you're gonna have to hook this with a piece of wire. An inspection mirror and a flashlight is gonna make it easier. You might try and uh, grab it with a magnet, but it's made of brass, so that's not gonna work. Make sure this connection isn't broken. If it is, replace this part called the trip lever. You'll wanna reattach the rod and then feed the stopper back into the drain. So if you get this back together and the tub won't fill with water or if it drains too slowly, what you need to do is take it back apart and adjust this connection right here. If it won't fill up with water, you want to lower this rod. If it drains too slowly, you want to raise it. So once you get that adjusted, you can put this back together and run in the screws. So this is another popular style of tub drain. Let's see how this one works. First you have to remove this knob. This one is brand new. But ordinarily, I like to hit it with a little penetrating oil and kind of clean out the head so you can get a good bite with the screwdriver. They're often filled with corrosion or soap scum. This one takes a number two Phillips driver. Then you can remove the overflow cover by taking out these two screws. The heads are soft, so you have to be careful not to strip them. Now you can pull out the mechanism that lands on the lever that lifts the stopper. This one is a brass spring that lands on this pedal. Like the other style, you can adjust a slow drain or a stopper that won't fully seal by adjusting this rod. Work the stopper into the drain and then replace the overflow cover and use the knob to check operation before reinstalling the screw. So that's how these two popular tub drain assemblies go together. But what if you don't want to mess with this or you can't get the pieces apart? Here's a pretty smart solution. This is the Watco New Fit Tub Drain Assembly. And instead of a complicated trip mechanism, it just goes up and down like that. Ordinarily, this piece screws into the cross in the bottom of the drain. But if that's missing, broken, or is a style that doesn't have one, you can silicone this surface right here, and then it gets stuck on there. This product also comes with the uh, overflow cover to replace the existing one so you don't have a lever there that doesn't do anything. Well, I hope you liked our little primer on tub drains. If there's something you'd like to see on Tooltech, please leave a comment below. We always like hearing from you.